Most likely when we start animating, we start with making a keyframe cell like this. For example, I go to the first keyframe, then I press R minus 90 Y and I did something wrong. Let's go in post mode. So post mode um, R minus 90 Y uh, press I for whole character. I just make uh, three keyframes. So R 90 Y press I whole character go to the end of the timeline R 90 Y press I whole character. Then we have an animation like this. Mm or whatever like uh, you have uh, an object and you just change rotate scale and grab and make keyframes like that so that's uh, okay but if you go further into animating you need the graph editor um, a minor thing about the graph editor well it's very good but it's not really intuitive to use it because you are now working with graphs and you have loads of these um, lines. I forgot how you call these. Um, so then, for example, if you want to animate something in the Z location of this, then you have to grab then one of those and then you play around with that the scale. Um, Etc. Move that around. Um, there is now an add-on, and that seems that has a solution that you don't have to work with this graph editor that way. So I go in object mode. I select this one. I go in front view. Then let's go in post mode and. Then let's forget this one for a while. So we have here the same animation, and then what we can do with the spacing sculptor. I will do this to be sure. Spacing sculptor, we enable it, and then if you just grab a bone here and you go there. This way you don't have to make keyframes and you see it's already working there are no keyframes uh, or what happened is when you go here you move like that so what it did is uh, adjusted the curves that way so instead of making keyframe uh, and going, going into the graph editor we can now adjust um, our object like that and for example if we think we want to have it like that so we can we you see the curve is adjusting or if you go here and you do it like that then you see the curve is behaving like this then this uh, add-on gives also the following options you can smooth that out um, I believe you have to press shift s and then I have to read um, I can use the mouse cursor then I do like this and there are several options more like control and then use the scroll wheel as easy for me we can also press e and then we can adjust this and we can remove the uh, keyframes so i think that this add-on um, opens a lot of uh, doors i'm very curious what you think about this add-on um, and if you have ideas how you can use it and what kind of door it opens I'm very curious about that so be free to you some uh, comments and I will put a link in the comments so you can take a look at the um, uh, uh, add-on is posted on blender market and that's this one spacing sculpture add-on uh, and then you have also 
door as an installation guide. The it's about installation, introduction, and how you can use the add-on. All right. Thanks for watching, and then I hope to see some comments.